Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the seventh Sunday in ordinary time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Paul de Leon, our parish priest. Please stand and join the singing of the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus affirms that only by being compassionate, forgiving, and loving can Christians break the shackles of violence and revenge that imprison the soul. His challenge may seem to be beyond our human capacity, but he reminds us that our model and strength is the Heavenly Father who is compassionate not only to the just but to sinners as well. May the spirit of mercy and compassion help us to live as sons and daughters of the Most High by following the teachings of our Lord Jesus. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the desert of Sif with 3,000 picked men of Israel to search for David in the desert of Sif. So David and Abishai went among Saul's soldiers by night and found Saul lying asleep within the back lane. With his spear, thrust into the ground at his head, and Abner and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp this day. Let me nail him to the ground with one trust of the spoil. I will not need a second trust, but David said to Abishai, Do not harm him. For who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took a spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head, and they got away without anyone's seeing or knowing or awaking. All remained asleep because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop at a great distance from Abner, son of Ner, and the chops, he said, Here is the king's spear. Let an attendant come over to get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, though the Lord delivered you into my grasp, I would not harm the Lord anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to our sins, does he 
Lord, does He requite us according to our crimes? The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far as He put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear Him. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written the first man, Adam, became a living being, the last Adam, a life-giving spirit. But the spiritual was not first. Rather, the natural and then the spiritual the first man was from the earth, earthly, the second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. And as in the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you, who hear I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? 
even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you, a good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will be, in return, be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated and listen to the homely. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Kapiling po natin ngayon ang Diyos, Ama, Anak at Spiritus Santo si Mama Guadang, ating patrona. Palakpakan po natin sila. <clears throat> Minamahal na mga kapatid, ngayon po ay dumating na tayo sa ikapitong linggo sa karaniwang panahon. At tulad ng nati, kapag ang mga mananampalataya ay nagtitipon upang magdiwang ng mananamisa, ang Diyos ay dumarating upang sila ay turuan, upang sila ay gabayan, upang sila ay basbasan sa pamagitan ng kanyang mga salita at higit sa lahat. Irigalo niya ang kanyang sarili sa pakikinabang sa banal na komunyon upang pag-uwi ay daladala natin mismo si Jesus sa ating buhay, sa ating pagkatao. Ano po ang nais ipaabot sa atin ng Diyos ngayong ikapitong linggo sa karaniwang panahon? Paulit-ulit po natin inawit bilang tugon sa Salmo, The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Ang Diyos ay mabait at mahabagin. Sa mga pagbasa, nililinaw po sa atin ng Diyos na tayo ay Kanyang mga anak. At bilang anak, ipinapaalala ng Diyos na mahalaga na magmana tayo sa Kanya. At kung tayo'y mana sa ating Ama sa langit, ang ibig sabihin ang bawat isa sa atin ay mabait at mahabagin din. No? So yun po yung ipinapaalala sa atin ng Diyos. Sa unang pagbasa, mula sa aklat ni Samuel, kinikilala nitong si Haring David na siya ay anak ng Diyos. Lahat po ng tao, kahit na ang itinuturing ang sariling anak ng Diyos, hindi may iwasan na mayroong kaaway sa panahon ng kanyang buhay. Si David ay anak ng Diyos, subalit mayroon din isang kaaway, si Saul, ang hari ng Israel noong panahong yon 
na nagnanais na siya ay patayin dahil sa pagkaingit sa kanya at pangamba na baka siya ang pumalit kay Haring Saul bilang hari ng Israel. At dahil sa inggit ay binalak ni Haring Saul na si Haring David si David ay ipapatay. Subalit si David ay nagkaroon ng pagkakataon na patayin mismo si Saul sa gitna ng disyerto. Subalit sa halip na patayin ay hindi niya ginawa ito. Ito ay palatandaan ng kanyang pagiging mabait at mahabagin. Nakakatuwa ang klase ng halimbawa sa buhay na naipapakita ng isang taong nabubuhay sa diwa ng pagiging anak ng Diyos. Siya ay mabait at mahabagin. Bagamat binigyan na siya ng pagkakataon na mapatay si Haring Saul, dahil siya ay mabait at mahabagin, hindi niya ito ginawa. Tulad ni Haring David, ang bawat isa sa atin ay meron ding mga kaaway sa ating buhay. At sa Ebanghelyo, yung tunay na anak ng Diyos na si Jesus nagtuturo sa atin. Ang sabi po ni Jesus, Mahalin mo ang iyong kaaway. Ipagdasal mo ang umuusig sa iyo. Kapag sinampal ka sa kanan, pasampal ka sa kabila. Pag niyakag kang maglakad ng isang kilometro, samahan mo sa dalawang kilometro. Kapag hinihingi ang iyong balabal, ibigay mo pati tunik mo. Kapag umutang sa iyo at hindi na nakabayad, pwede mo na itong pabayaan. Minamahal mga kapatid, ano ang pinagbumulan ng pagiging mabait at mahabagin sangayon sa turo ni Jesus sa Ebanghelyo ngayong linggong ito na sinulat ni San Lucas. Ang turo ni Jesus ay mabuhay tayo sa pag-ibig. Sabi ni San Pablo Apostol, tatlong bagay ang tumatagal. Pananampalataya, pag-asa at pag-ibig. Subalit ang pinakadakila sa lahat ay pag-ibig. Anong klaseng pag-ibig? Sa anong klaseng pag-ibig tayo inaanyayahan ni Jesus sa linggong ito? Ang personal na taguri po ng inyong lingkod dito ay radical love. Radikal sapagat hindi siya pangkaraniwan. Pag sinampal ka sa kanan, pasampal ka sa kabila. Mahalin mo ang iyong kaaway, ipagdasal mo ang mga umuusig sa iyo. Hindi siya pangkaraniwan. Taong tanging nagtataglay ng dalisay na pagmamahal ang may kakayanan nito. At ang nakapagbibigay halimbawa nito ay ang Diyos. Ang ating Aba sa Langit, kahit paulit-ulit tayong nagkakasalang lahat, wala tayong tinatanggap na kaparusahan sa Kanya, manapay, patuloy na dumadaloy sa atin ang Kanyang mga biyaya. Tanda ng kanyang pagmamahal. Ang tawag po dito sa Ingles ay gratuitous love or unconditional love. 
when love is gratuitous, when love is unconditional, ang basihan nito ay hindi ang ating merito o demerito. The basis is not our merit nor demerit. Hindi dahil sa tayo ay mabuti o masama. Ang dahilan ay sapagkat mahal lamang tayo ng Diyos. At dahil mahal niya tayo, ang uri ng pagmamahal na ibinibigay niya sa atin is gratuitous, unconditional, meaning to say, no one among us is deserving of this kind of love. Minamahal ang mga kapatid, dito tayo sa ganitong uri ng pagmamahal, inaanyayahan ni Jesus sa linggong ito. A radical kind of love. A love that is the semblance of the love of God the Father for each one of us. Ano po ang mapuprobetso natin kung tayo ay ganitong klasing magmahal? Pag sinampal sa kanan, pasasampal sa kabila, hindi naghihiganti, ang kaaway, pinagdarasal, minamahal, ang mga umuusig ay ipinagdarasal, ang mga nangangailangan ay tinutulungan kahit hindi makabayad, ano po ang nagiging kategorya ng iyong pagkatao kung ganitong klase kang magmahal? Sabi po ni Yesus sa Ibanghelyo, ikaw ay nagiging anak ng Diyos. Minamahal mo kapatid, ang pagiging tunay na anak ng Diyos sa diwa at sa katotohanan, ang pinakamataas na karangalan na pwede nating maabot sa panahon ng ating buhay. The highest dignity that we can achieve is to be a truly child of God. Because only God can appropriate that highest achievement na pwede nating maabot. Identity na pwede nating maabot. Tayo nagiging lehitimong kapatid ni Jesus. So yun po yung mahalagang iniaalok sa atin ng Diyos. Maging anak ng Diyos sa tunay na diwa, maging kapatid ni Jesus sa tunay na diwa. Ipagdasal natin nating sarili, pagdasal natin ang isa't isa, naway mag-alabag ang ating mga puso na mabigyang daan ang kakayahang umibig nating lahat. Katulad ng iniyaalok sa atin ng Diyos sa lingkong ito. Tulad din ng Diyos, ang Magiging kalidad ng ating pagkatao, kamangha-mangha at kahanga-hanga. Sabi ni San Pablo Apostol, sa liham niya sa mga taga-Kurinto, ang ganitong kalidad ng buhay pagdating ng takdang panahon, ang kapalarang naghihintay sa iyo ay tulad na naging kapalaran ng unang Adan na si Jesus. Ito na wang maging kapalaran nating lahat. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from life, true God from true God, begotten not me. Consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. 
he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that we may truly become his sons and daughters, who are called to mirror his mercy and compassion to everyone. With confidence we pray, Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May Pope Francis, Bishop Reynaldo, Father Paul de Leon, our parish priest, Father Herald Mart Arenal, our parochial vicar, deacons, and all church leaders, mirror the unconditional love of Jesus, who seeks our lost, the weak, and the stray among God's flock. We pray. Lord of mercy, mercy, hear our our prayer. prayer. May our political and civil leaders work to fight against the culture of death and become instruments of healing and justice. We pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May the sick, the handicapped, the deaths, the elderly, and those who are in great pain find healing and support through their families and leaders of their communities. We pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May we receive the sacrament of reconciliation, often in belief in the power of forgiveness, so that we, in turn, may become more compassionate and forgiving. We pray. Lord, Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. May our beloved dead experience God's loving forgiveness and so attain eternal life in heaven. We pray. Lord, Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Likewise, my dear brothers and sisters, who continue joining our brothers and sisters in their intentions as they light their candles at our candle chapel, we pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. Grant us the capacity to forgive from our hearts so that we may be one with you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist.
please stand. Pray, brethren, that is our sacrifice may be acceptable to God of our Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may be comforted the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us ready to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis of Pope, Reynaldo Bishop, all the clergy, and your beloved children whom you have gathered to participate in this Mass. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face of mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mama Guada of Patroness, her beloved spouse, Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, which and one Jagger and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we are married to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. Let the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down to our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now offer each other the sign of peace.
please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. May they permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us include in our celebration the following Mass intentions. Thanksgiving, Avian Family, Tony, G, and Jello, Alog Family, Garvas Family, Bautista Family, Bawalan Family. For the special intention, Speed Recover of Emilita Rodera, Jonabel Pondang Vates, Ruth Lee Santos, Rose Lee Santos, and Family. For the souls of the following, Wilfredo Asiado, Angel Milagros, Napoleon Romeo, Victoria, Susan, Mirna, and Rolando, offered by Garfes Family and Bautista Family, Augusto, Gloria, Cesar, Julio, Juana, Elena, Angeles, Alejandro, Ernesto, and Estelita, offered by Ruth, Ronaldo, and Selma, Jose, Elisa, Romelo and Josefina, offered by Raylene, Cristita, Teodoro, Felicita, and Anatalio, offered by 
Batlang family. Paanyaya, ang Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting o PPCRB ng ating parokya ay nagaanyaya po at nagahangat ng mga volunteers para sa paghahamba ngayong halalan 2022. Ang PPCRB po ay isang buklura na mag ang layunin ay magbigay kaalaman at tiyaking malinis, tapat, totoo at payapa ang eleksyon sa darating na May 2022. Kabilang po sa mga volunteers na ating mahangat ay pwede sa Voters Assistant Desk, Fair Watcher, Power Player Group, Logistics Team, and marami pang iba. Kung kayo po ay interesado ng maging voters sa darating na volunteers sa darating na halalan, pwede na po kayo magpalista sa labas ng inyong pangalan. Maaari rin po na mag-message lamang kayo dito sa ating Facebook page o Lady of Guadalupe o hanapin po ninyo sa iling choice po yun. Maraming salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sa inyo pong lahat na nagsimba, sa inyo pong lahat na lingkod ng simbahan na nagserve sa may isang ito, maraming maraming salamat po. Palakpakan po natin sa inyo. Sa inyo po na nag-alay, nagpamisa at naghandog sa ating koleksyon, ang inyo pong kabutihang laob ay makatutulong upang maipagpatuloy ang gawain ni Jesus sa ating parokya. Maraming maraming salamat po. Palakpakan po natin sila. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty and loving God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you, together with all your loved ones, and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.